Alright guys, we don't have too much time. We are, uh, I'm going to have to micromanage the heck out of this real quick. Uh, I'm going to try and keep commentating as best as I can, though. Don't worry. Come on, build, build, build. Make those battleships. And let's make submarines, too. Maybe some aircraft carriers? I don't know. I'll make an aircraft... A aircraft carrier should be fine. Aircraft carriers are actually pretty darn cool, if you know uh, what you're doing with them. So, build an aircraft carrier. Aha. Now that we have a submarine out, because uh, they build a bit quicker than battleships, we're going to go hunt that guy down, because he cannot hit us. Only destroyers can hit submarines. Or other submarines. Because now I'm having trust issues with my neighbor. Ah, oh, yes, more oil has been revealed. But of course, that's in the sea. And in the sea, it's dangerous. Even though we need more oil production, we're still going to grab that anyway. Uh, Got to be a bit careful here as we make a fleet. Let's have the submarines kind of explore first. They're going to be kind of our first wave, I guess you could say. Okay, economics. Economics, let's see here. Uh, we're definitely going to want another city. Wow, that is close. Can we do that? Apparently we can. Okay, that's fine. It's fine with me. I mean, saves me time, but I'm just surprised I didn't know we could do that. Uh, trying to produce knowledge. We need more science technology to get our science even higher. We need more people. Uh, yeah, there's an aircraft carrier. Carrier's full. We spawn with full carriers? <laughs> okay, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with these aircraft carriers, so... Hope you don't mind. What the heck? We got a scout guy in our base? I mean, I don't really care, but... Still, it's kind of annoying. Let's go! Yes, we could harvest whales for food and such, but... I don't think it really matters that much. I always think it's interesting how, like, the fog of war on the seaboard is kind of... Mm -hmm. makes it look like there's always shore, you know? Anyway, we have a pretty massive fleet here that I didn't expect to even have to use. And yes, we will be using nukes. Do not worry. I'm not going to... You think I'm really going to miss out on nuking the capital of Japan? Come on. Uh, no offense, any, by the way, if, if you're from Japan. I'm just trying to make a joke. Okay. Let's keep going. On this border, because we know this is their cap. This is where they are. We know this. Oh, you know what would be really cool is if we just kind of took over a piece of their land. We're bombarding them. Okay, uh... Air mission... Go! Airplanes going out. Oh my god, yeah, we can just attack them. Let's kill off this puny army. I hope this isn't their whole army. That'd be kind of sad. Airplanes. Yeah, maybe we could get a foothold. Hell, we could build a city. You know what I mean? If we lose planes, it's okay. Nope, carrier's still full. Not really taking too much damage here. Craft carriers tr can travel a far distance. My god. I think we have more boats as well. Yeah, oh my god, okay. Let's go ahead and keep using that superiority in the sea. And I guess our our, our physical armies lack lacking in supplies, so we're going to go ahead and bolster them up as we get ready to go ahead and make uh, nukes. Because you know what? You guys, I, th I thought about it uh, between episodes, and I don't really need to show you guys all the final product stuff. It pretty much turns the game into like, a sandbox game, almost, because of how broken some of the stuff can get. And I don't think you guys are really gonna care too much about that sort of stuff. I mean, maybe you would, and if that's something you want, I can just show you solely endgame, if you want to. That's something I could easily create, and I honestly wouldn't have a problem with that, with doing that at all. Because, I mean, this is the finale here. We're gonna make it good and last. Oh! Shoot! Air mission into Kyoto. We found their capital. Is there probably going to be aircraft anti-air guns? Sure, but who 
cares? We could have the air mission target the anti-aircraft guns for all we care. Hell, maybe that's a good enough distraction. No, our aircraft carry... Eh, that's, they, those are pretty strong. We're not going to be able to just push our way into them. Though having this fleet is quite nice. Look at them trying to... Trying to be useful. Ah, are we going to be in range? can't quite tell. We might have to target something close by. Eh, we can wipe out all that crap. Who knows? Damn. I don't want to create a nuclear missile if we can just create an ICBM. Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. More oil. We need more oil. That's just a fact. We need more of it. We cannot build oil there. I'm sorry. Can we make a town here? Must... Yeah, I can't build in enemy territory, so that's why it kind of sucks. Are we going to go ahead and make more soldiers? Of course we're going to make more soldiers. Why wouldn't we? We don't even have tanks. kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's like, eh. We're going to call back our air missions, because I want to wait for um, my main army to be ready. And that nuke, because it'd be really cool to bomb Kyoto. Why not? Let's make that nuclear missile. When we research it, it's probably just going to automatically upgrade. Um, we're almost at... Wow, we are so close, actually. I did a good job managing my economy. I don't even, I haven't even built a university here yet. We'll build it anyway. But still, I, I'm proud. Like, dang. I did a good job. Let's... All the airplanes moving out. Well, most of them get shot down, probably. But it's okay, because we're just going to have an overwhelming amount. Wow, they got a lot of AA guns, though. Here, let's help out with some bombers. Should work out. Let's buy some oil. We need oil. Where's our market? There we go. Buy up that oil! Hey, hey. Researching the ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. I'm sorry about my dog. Hold on, I'm going to pause this recording real quick. As you can see, my dog apparently wanted to be in the, in the recording. Why not? It's the finale of a series. I've never actually done a finale before, so hopefully we can make it as epic as possible. Uh, we've lost a lot of planes, actually, I think, so we're going to go ahead and build a bunch. Oh, we, we used all our oil on a nuke. Which I'm fine with. You know what I mean? It's totally fine with me, but... God, we need more economics. Uh, can we make more caravans? Actually, would that be something we could do? Why not? I mean, we have four cities. Damn. I'm not even going to let them build a city. At least our sea control is pretty good. Wow, when they crash and die, at least they're... Wow, we're doing a good job. It's totally vulnerable. We're gaining oil. We've got our commerce limit. Caravan limit has been reached. Damn. Maybe we will just see endgame, endgame tech. Also, I'm, I'll admit I'm going a bit slow. We could probably have won already, but... Why, why, why ruin it, you know? Why, why ruin this wonderfulness? When we're about to get that nuke. And once we make the nuke, don't worry, guys. Definitely going to just send my army over to just kind of end it. I think if I build right there, should, I mean, we should already be able to touch it. Barely. But who knows. If that research check does not turn that into the missile, then we're going to have to rebuild the missile. Oh, shoot. Are we actually taking... Okay, at least our battleships... Okay, okay, we might need to send in battleship support. Or actually, no, we might... We want to make helicopters, don't we? Gonna make helicopters. As well as some bombers. So 
we, we gotta give additional support to our guys. Can't really afford to not. Uh, I don't trust that. There's this thing there. Oh, it did turn into it. Perfect, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we were able to reach our target location. Wonderful. Oh, I might have killed some of my own planes. I'm sorry. Killed some of my own planes. But we nuked it! We took it down! Charge! I'm sending the helicopters to survey the area first. Just to see what kind of an army they have left over there. Because the helicopters are actually pretty strong. They're going to be able to do some mop-up work of any soldiers. Then we do a nice uh, sweeping invasion. Let's go! Woo! -hoo. That pretty much silenced everything that they have. And we gotta maintain those air missions, though. Oh boy, we might need more helicopters. I don't know if we have enough. We're gonna keep moving in our helicopters, though. And why not have bombers come in and attack? Fight back, you dumbasses. If you're gonna get shot at, you're gonna fight back. We, we want to try and keep the city reduced as much as we can. So we're just gonna have our bombers kind of swoop in and deliver the final kind of blow. Oh, they didn't bomb it. Oh well. Uh, let's have the air base return everyone as we kind of slowly push our way forward. Yes, we took out the capital. Turn all fighters and move over. Make some new air missions. Because I know where I want those planes to be going. As well as having those choppers kind of moving around. These guys are kind of clearing everything out. We have bombers coming in to help uh, secure that position. We don't really need any more nukes at this point. We've pretty much got this thing under lockdown. We're not letting anyone survive. It's pretty glorious in my opinion. Yeah, bombers are doing their job. We even got those fighter airplanes coming in to help clear everything out. And that should win the game for us, you guys. We did such a good job. Let's examine the map. Let's see what was left. Uh, some ships that didn't get used. Interesting choice. Uh, they had random boats scattered throughout, but this is pretty much it. I mean, look at that. You got the bombers, you got choppers and soldiers everywhere as they kind of all collide in. What if, I didn't know there was a port back here. I would have had my boats in, too, just for a nice epic screenshot. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Let's see what the end game result looks like. Woo! All right. We did it. El Worthy of the Americans, one by one, you have vanquished your enemies and united all the nations under your glorious banner. Throughout the ages, your name will be remembered as the one who succeeded where all others have failed. You have conquered the world. So anyway, that took us 20 turns. We were never destroyed. We never lost a single battle. We killed off nine nations ourselves. We had 21 battles overall throughout our whole campaign. We captured all 59 territories. And in terms of the time spent in battles, overall, uh, between all of them, we spent about four hours. So I would say we actually did a pretty good job. I mean, look at that. Isn't that a great way to salute you all? I'm El Worthy, and I'll see you guys next time.